Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, we're going to be doing a monthly build. Part of a series that I want to start up, and every month, we're just going to build out a new mining rig. Eight card, six card, really just go with the flow and enjoy the show. But, this reminds me, because GPs are so hard to get a hold of right now, of a shirt that I have available on dogelord.com. I survived the 2020 GPU drought. And we're all too familiar with the issues that we've been having in getting these GPUs, specifically when we're trying to order from Best Buy, Newegg, or anywhere else. We got a coming soon, auto notify, and we know the bots have been taking over. So check that out in a link in the description below. Now, without further ado, the 3060 Ti is going to be the choice GPU for this month's build. Now, the, again, this is a theoretical build because of how hard the GPUs are hard to find but I just wanted to build out at MSRP or close to what it would cost to get an 8 GPU rig built out of 3060 Ti's and what really spurred this on is uh, recently NiceHash posted uh, a post on Twitter where they show uh, how you can earn a thousand euros per month with this mining rig and it's actually 10 uh, 3060 Ti's it's dual fan design with a single 8 pin which in my opinion would be a little bit more efficient than the For the Win 3 with uh, two 8 pins and triple fan design and RGB and all that stuff, which adds to overall electricity use. Not much, but every little bit counts. Um, I don't agree with the choice of CPU and GP or CPU and motherboard, unfortunately, because unless you're going to be dedicated CPU mining with the Ryzen 5600X, which is what they chose, um, and Ryzen is good at CPU mining, uh, way better than Intel as far as uh, price to performance and, and efficiency. It's not really necessary. Our main workhorse is going to be the GPUs, right? So it's not really necessary. Now, if they're mining with the GPUs and then the CPU as well, great. But then it comes to the fact that the motherboard, the motherboard is not really necessary as far as power. But I, I, I have an understanding of why they did it, which we're going to get into in a little bit. But... Uh, we're not overclocking the Ryzen 5600X for mining. Uh, we may boost up the frequency a little bit, but we can do that with a lesser motherboard, like a B550 motherboard on the low end uh, side of the spectrum. So let's just build out our, our total system. I wanna show you the parts that I selected and definitely give me some feedback in the comments below. But the NVIDIA 3060 Ti is probably one of the best uh, price to performance GPUs when it comes to mining. Uh, besides the 3080 for this generation. The 3060 Ti really gives uh, a, a competition to the uh, Radeon RX 5700 series, uh, but both are really hard to get, and, and prices are just skyrocketing. But let's just say, theoretically, we're going to get the same, a similar card, right? The EVGA uh, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti XC, dual fan design, single 8-pin, and it's going to cost us about uh, $450 per card, eight cards it's going to come out to around 3600 i already did some math then we need to get the foundation the foundation is some type of frame now yes we can build a frame with wood or metal from home depot whatever you want uh, many of us have done it but let's just say we got an 8 gpu vada frame uh, which this may not be i haven't personally bought from this uh, particular vendor so i'm not going to link it in the description or anything like that but we got an 8 gpu frame it can hold fans it can hold everything that we need it's going to cost us about 40 bucks is what I have here on the list. And then I like to start off with my CPU first before I start selecting my motherboard. And the CPU that we selected is just a $50, $40 uh, Celeron 4930, G4930. Um, actually, most of my CPUs in my, my rigs are just a simple dual core. You don't need something with four cores, uh, four, two cores at the minimum. Four cores is okay. If you're going six, 12, eight, whatever, that is, is completely unnecessary unless you want to specifically focus on CPU mining or if you want to mine with your CPU. But I would not recommend Intel CPU mining because it's not efficient. Once we decided on our CPU, we then needed to decide on, well, what motherboard are we gonna do? Here's the problem though. When we try to look up mining motherboards, even on Newick, let's say uh, B250 Asus, right? first problem we're not building a rig with 19 cards we're building a rig with eight cards and the second problem is the price the cheapest one maybe we could get around 102 but that's 
one pre-owned and two it's a bid so it's probably going to go up before then buyout prices for some of these are in the 240 so it's not really necessary on uh new egg the cheapest one that we can get is from colorful and it's an h81 which is going to be an lga uh, 1150 cpu so if you can find one of those cpus or you have one hanging around that might work out save you some money but the mining motherboards have certainly gone up in price so what i did is i found something uh similar or, or excuse me not similar but a basic model motherboard right so this is this is compatible with our cpu that we got for 50 bucks it doesn't cost a lot yes it only has three pcie uh slots right so two one by one by 16 but with an adapter like this and i have one linked in the description below check out my parts list and uh, that i put at the bottom of all my videos for recommended mining uh, there's an adapter in there that's a you know buy one uh, to four USB, and you can take this buy one slot and convert it into four GPU. So we can have two of those, one for here and one for here, and that would give us everything we need to run our GPUs as far as data. Then it's going to come down to power, and I was looking and I was like, okay, well we could get a 1600 watt power supply. Uh, matter of fact, I think um, in this build they did two, either a 2,000 watt. They have 2,000 watts total that they can utilize, but I can't tell what power supply did they use. So the system only draws 1,400, but I remember them saying something about using a 2,000. Yeah, they used a single 2,000 watt power supply. Well, the 3060 Ti, while mining efficiently, if we get it down, you know, bring the power limit down to 50 and, and up the uh, memory clocks and stuff, tune it, we can get that to about 120 watts. Um, and if you want all the data on what the 3060 Ti's mining performance is, I always put the data that I find or that I, that I you know, gather for the community onto reddit in a post i also uh link it to a lot of the main tech youtuber channels or, or mining channels i'll just include it in the link below or in the description below but you can check out all that data on my reddit post or through major crypto outlets online but we're, we can guesstimate anywhere from 100 around 120 watts all the way up to 190 depending on what algo we're mining so we don't need 2,000 per se. If we're gonna be focusing on Ethereum, let's say we got 122 times GPU uh, of eight, 976 plus system, stuff like that. That's gonna bring us close to 1,200 watts. So if we can technically get two 850 watt power supplies, we should be good. And don't skip out on the power supply. That's one of the things I was looking at. So the G2 uh, 1600 watt power supply is around $450 because the other places are out of stock. But if we get the B2 or B5, excuse me, the 850 watt uh, 80 plus bronze at uh, let's say 130 a pop, I actually estimated what was the price? I said 150 with tax. So that's going to be 300. That's almost $150 in savings by getting two separate power supplies rather than one. And then we're gonna have extra connectors that we can utilize if need be, like SATA connectors, um, PCIe connectors, so on and so forth. So I chose the EVGA B5 as part of that, right? So we got motherboard, we got CPU, we got power, we got frame, we got GPUs. Now we need memory. For memory, I chose uh, something just generic. You don't need something too crazy. Matter of fact, this is it right here. And because you always want to check your motherboard manufacturer's website, right? You always want to check to make sure it's compatible. It's not super duper important. So we just got some generic crucial memory. This will be perfectly fine. It's two four gig sticks, so a total of eight. You don't need 16 or 32 or anything like that. Uh, you just need some memory. Now the speeds are not as important when it comes to GPU mining. We just need something that's gonna work. Unfortunately, and if you wanted to test this out yourself, um, the name, the part number is right here. And if you go to the motherboard manufacturer's website and click on compatibility, 
we can click on memory for whichever one we want. We're going to go to i3 and other because it's a Celeron processor. And we can actually search if our memory is on here. It's not, which means we can't run dual channel. We might be able to run dual channel. But most importantly, we won't be able to run at the rate of speeds that it says, so 2400, which does not bother me. If we're running at 2133, whatever. It's not going to impact whatsoever the hash rate that we're going to be focusing on with these GPUs. So I just got some cheap, crucial memory, and it will get the job done. Besides that, you can always take what you find. Compare multiple sources, right? So PC part picker, you find a part. You're like, all right, cool. Let's go, you know, let's go, uh, let's go on eBay. Can we find this memory for cheaper? No, we can't. It's actually more expensive uh, for the kit. Uh, for the memory overall, I have a price of 40 bucks, And technically, we could get it for a little bit cheaper. Uh, but I can get it from a known source right there online. So just weigh out the pros and cons. Uh, you know, buying on eBay, especially with all these scalpers and and what I consider con artists trying to rip us off with these GPUs, I'm very hesitant on ordering on eBay. So I'm going to look at Newegg. I'm going to look at Amazon. I'm going to compare prices, see if I could get it for cheaper somewhere else. So overall, the only thing that we're missing um, is, let's see here, uh, two PSU splitter. I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah. So we need a PSU splitter so that way we could run both of these uh, you know, power supplies in this one system. This main 24 pin will connect to the main 24 pin on the motherboard and then the 24 pins will connect uh, the two power supplies together and that's only like seven bucks. So overall the total system will cost us a total of 4175. Let's say 4200 flat. 4200 flat for everything that I just listed here in this particular video. And I'll share the build list uh, from PC Part Picker uh, down below. It's not completed at this moment, but I'll, I'll put all the parts that I, I have selected for this build down below. But you don't need, the big key thing is you don't need to go and buy a mining specific motherboard that gives you 19, 21, um, you know, PCIe slots if you're only building an eight card rig. Now, if you're going to stack them, right, you're going to have, have an eight card rig that are stacked on shelves and you are going to build, you know, like Bitsby Trippin or Red Panda Mining, a 19 plus GPU uh, rig, then yeah, you're going to need a motherboard like the Asus B250 Mining Expert. When I got this motherboard from Mine Your Biz, Seth Estrada, it only cost me 50 bucks and thank you, Seth, for that. But now the prices are getting ridiculous. So if you can't find the motherboard that you, that you want in the price range that you want, just go look for a motherboard that's... Um, you know, like a regular motherboard. You know, NiceHash did choose the, the X570 Master, which is a little bit over what they should have chose, but that's dumb. They can do what they want. You can do what you want with your mining rig. I would just say get a generic motherboard, a regular gaming motherboard, combine it with some adapters, some U-bit adapters that take a buy one slot, uh, split it into four, and then you'll be perfectly fine. You'll be able to run. So overall, $4,200 to build a 3060 Ti, mining rig in the month of January. That's the build for this month, the 3060Ti 8 GPU mining rig build. And you may get a better mining rig frame or you might be able to find one better. Uh, matter of fact, but prices are going up across the board. I can't vouch for this particular vendor. I don't know them, but they do offer what looks to be a VETA mining frame similar to at the price of uh, under 40 bucks, which isn't bad. Um, VETA, I don't think, is around anymore. They used to be very popular in, uh, I don't even think I spelled that right. They used to be very popular on Amazon and with the mining community, but I don't think they make them anymore. So getting one is going to be slim to none, but there are other options out there. Whether you want a server case or just a frame, whatever you want, it can be done. See, look, they charge you 205 bucks for this frame that's pretty much like a VETA mining frame. I wouldn't spend that much. I wouldn't spend upwards of $100 plus dollars on an 8 GPU mining frame, but unfortunately, it's getting to the point now that uh, because of the pricing of cryptocurrency and, and how things are hitting all-time highs, a lot of people are getting into it. 
and it's going to drive up the price of all components, you know, power supplies, GPUs, everything, including with the tariffs expiration, uh, which uh, DCA Adventure, Crypto Macau, uh, Nemesis, Nefarious, uh, Max Voltage, and myself talked about, and Savage Mind talked about in a recent video. Some of those tariffs were, they were already existing, but the date for the expiration had fell off. So now we're going to see a price hike in certain componentry and materials uh whether or not they're passed on to us from the vendors is really up to the vendors the sellers and stuff like that so just keep that in mind guys but that's going to do it for me today as i mentioned check out the link in the description below for the the shirt um i survived the 2020 gpu drought because i know it's really hard for us all, all of us to get gpus some of us have been able to get behind enemy lines and get some gpus and beat the bots but it's it's slim to none uh, unless you have a direct connection, and if you do, great. Uh, but also check out in the description any links to hardware that I might recommend. And let me know your thoughts. What are you building in the month of January 2021? We're going to be doing this every month. We're going to build out a new mining rig system, eight cards only uh, each month uh, for the remainder of 2021. But let me hear you in the comments below. I would appreciate your feedback. You guys take care. I thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.